She was the vessel, the human vessel, through whom the Holy Spirit came and uh, for nine months and brought Jesus into the world because Jesus was a hundred percent God and a hundred percent human. In that context, she was just a human vessel. She needs the respect, the honor. She was the most favorable woman that God chose for that purpose to bring Jesus into the world. But nothing more, nothing less, nothing else. My name is Nasser Farag, and I am uh, originally from Egypt. Uh, I'm a born-again Christian from a Coptic Christian first century background. I have been also a missionary for the last 45 years or so uh, in several countries. Kenya, Mexico, Gaza, Yemen, uh, Belize, Egypt, and so on. Uh, the name of the book is The Virgin Mary in the Light of the Word of God. The, the author of the book, Dr. Labib Mikhail, used to be my pastor when I was eight years old in Egypt. And he wrote about uh, 80 some books. And when he sent me a copy in Arabic and I read it, I, I loved it. And I thought it needs to be really available for the Latin world since I was a missionary in Mexico for 10 years. Then uh, I told the author it's really needed uh, for uh, the Catholic world who speak English here in the States and uh, abroad. And so I agreed. And then uh, I felt it should not be just geared to the Coptic Church and the Pope of Alexandria of Egypt but it should be geared to uh, the Catholic world, who are more than a billion. And of course, the Orthodox, Greek Orthodox, Russian Orthodox, Syrian, not only the Coptic Orthodox, and uh, also the Evangelicals. And so we had it in English. The Roman Catholicism is a first century church, which was a very biblical church, but gradually, it took the line of following whatever the popes and the bishops and the priests are deciding to, to, to be. So they left the Bible and went to the teachings of the church and the tradition of the Catholic Church. And they claim that the, 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 the Roman Catholic Church as the only true church because it was a first century church. They ignored and they forgot that uh, the Holy Spirit is the one who holds the church and the church is the body of Christ and the church is not a tradition. In fact, Jesus said, for the sake of tradition, you have made void the word of God. So we should not have a tradition, even an evangelical church, to make, to worship a tradition or to adore a tradition to the extent that it takes over the, the, the true biblical interpretation by the Holy Spirit uh, of, of the Bible. Uh, and we, we can make, we can fall into the same trap if we are not careful as evangelicals. So we are always to look at the incarnate word, Jesus, and the recorded word, the Bible. And these two, the incarnate word, the recorded word, have to be understood on the, by the Holy Spirit through prayers and seeking, what is he telling me when I read the Bible? This book is making it very Bible-centered, scripturally answering in a very respectful way to the Catholics without, uh, without insulting them or putting them down. They're just saying, let's come together to the Word of God.